Hey guys, this is Andrew for TradingSenses.com. I've been working as a professional trader for the past six years in Hong Kong and right now, guys, I'm doing YouTube videos because uh, I want to show you guys all the different tools and techniques that I use every day at work that work for me. I want to show you how to use it, guys. And I want to basically uh, explain to you how pro traders are making money on the market. So if you want to know about all this stuff, you guys are in the right place. So today I want to make an update on GameStop again using Elliott Wave principle. Let's get into it. So guys, for those who know what is Elliott Wave principle, so it's a very complex theory that is amazing, that is working very well. So for those who are completely new to this, what I'm going to talk about today is going to look very crazy. But for those who know a bit, it's going to be easier to understand. So first thing, Elliott Wave principle says that moves up develop in five waves and moves down corrective moves are developing in three waves, A, B, C. So I'm having here the GameStop price action. Uh, let's go on a four hours time frame. I try basically to apply this theory to this uh, whole move up that we're having since last March. So for the past year, what I'm trying to do here, guys, is to see if actually the waves are completed, uh, the cycles are finished or not. And I'm trying to see if uh, we are starting a new cycle. So for a cycle to be done, you need to find five waves, guys. So I spent a lot of time doing the stuff and look what I found. So once again, for those who want to understand more about Elliot, just click on the link in the description of the video and you guys going to receive a free video where I explain everything when I show you guys the different patterns that you have and uh, I show you some practical cases like this one here. I don't have time to, uh, to go too much into details. So I'm just going to show you that I have one here. All right. So this is the blue. Let's put it in red. So I have a one here, two, three, four, and five. So my first cycle of five waves has to me been completed when we went to 480. Why I think this counting is correct? Because each time the first wave, the third wave and the fifth wave, I can break them down into five waves. And the second and the fourth wave, which are corrective, can be broken into five waves here for a triangle of three waves here for a zigzag. So I am quite confident in this counting. So this is telling me, guys, that right now we have something very interesting that is starting because here we have definitely a zigzag A, B, C, you know, but on a bigger cycle and we are just starting a new cycle, guys. So we are starting a new cycle that, is, that started at 50. And look, guys, in your have theory, you know, it's just like pattern recognition, but what is interesting is that you always have some news that are uh, going into the direction of the theory. And here, guys, what was the news? The news at this levels was that Robinhood increased the margin so that people can buy unlimitedly. They can you know, buy as much as they want. They just need to put more money on their account. But you guys know that uh, we are full of cash right now because of the heavy uh, money printing done by the Federal Reserve. So I don't worry about people having cash on their account. They do because they receive free money even if they don't work. So they have the cash. They're going to put it uh, in GameStop and IMC, guys. This is what is actually happening. And this is showing me, guys, that actually something here happened so that we don't correct deeper. And we just started, guys, a new cycle that is going to be again developing in five waves. So here is the 50 level. It's actually the breakout level that we had. Let me show you this quickly. If I go on a weekly time frame and I just connect the two recent highs that I had here and here to 13 and 207 guys. So technical analysis law works on a very long term. I have this 50 level that has been broken, retested here exactly when we had this correction. And now we are going higher and I expect this new cycle to develop again in five waves. So I'm coming to my conclusion very soon, but guys, this is very bullish. So we have a one, we went to 200, then we have the correction and then we start again a new third wave. So let me get rid of this first. So here we have a one, a two, 
And now I try to guess what is happening. But guys, I believe that we're going to have five waves. And if we do, the third wave must be broken down in five waves too. So the third wave must have one, two, three, four and five. The third wave is not even complete, guys. So we are in the third wave right now. We know that we have support level at 175. I showed you guys this in the video I did uh, yesterday or two days ago on the short term. So 175 is going to act as support, I believe. And we're going to have a fifth wave that is only going to be, guys, probably go to 480. And then we're going to have a correction. This is going to be the fourth wave. Here we have a zigzag. So here probably we're going to have a flat. Uh, once again, guys, flat and zigzags uh, in uh, second and fourth wave corrections are usually uh, switching. If you have first a zigzag, then you usually have a flat. And once again, if you want to know what I'm talking about, guys, click on the link in the description and you're going to understand everything. Here, I expect we have a correction. So here it was a zigzag. So here's something maybe smoother. And then the fifth wave, guys. And the fifth wave is going to be then the last wave of this new market cycle. So we are just in the middle of this market cycle. And now if you want to have some targets, so once again, I just gave you some. I think the third wave is going to, you know, this is my preferred scenario. Of course, there is nothing guaranteed. So the third wave in orange, that is itself the, where you can find five waves inside uh, it is to me going to 480. This would make sense as is a strong uh, resistance. Then we're going to correct and then we're going to have the fifth wave that is going to break everything here. And to know where the fifth wave is actually going to go, guys, there are different tools that you can use, for example, Fibonacci extensions. And I'm going to show you how to do it in another video. So if you enjoyed this, this one, please don't forget to click on the like, sub and bell button. So you're going to be the first to know when I upload anything new and stay close to shore. I'll see you guys.